H and O presents the grand finale, part fourteen. The Madonian confusion. The time had come. The progress of the war was increasing. Emolzi knew that he had to hatch his plan, and so he took control of his second half and kept the second half at bay, as he went himself to unleash the power that. Macaulay Yellow gave him to take control of Carla Madonna, Tashan, and Satoko. We were all in the throne room, alone, conversing with one another. Macaulay said, Imozi, why are you here? I did not summon you. What is this? And Satoko said, Imozi, I never liked you. Are you planning treason? And Imozi walked up and said, Treason. Such a strong word. I like it more as false advisory. Well, Bodonio will be safe, but under my careful supervision. And Deshaun said, the top advisor is Dai Rai, not you. Go back to the Aiton. And then suddenly, Malzi hypnotized Kalmadoyan, Deshaun, and and told them, you are under my rule, my control. The time of your free will is over. You will sacrifice everything, no matter what, even each other, for the sake and future of Madonna. All except for me and the Kichu. Now, call for a meeting. Order that the Madonians will want to launch war against the banker and insurance and builder. Once the outside galaxies have been subdued, give them an ultimatum in saying that if they do not dissolve their armies, that they will indeed be crushed, and the full strength of the Madonian Empire. After this carnation, Mozi let them go. Mozi walked away, and as he was walking, Colin Madonian said, Mozi, I'm glad you're here. Please call the leaders of all the powers, our knights and advisors. Tell them we have to speak urgently about the current affairs in the universe. And Mozi bowed down and said, Yes, my lady. I walked outside of the chamber with a wicked smile on his face, knowing that the plan was hatched. Stunned and awe and shock, followed with some of the advisors and leaders and officers of Madonna. They were stunned. They thought the wars were over. The Teshar, Satokoi, and Kala were very angry and vocal about the insurance and the bank and building still having military despite everything that had transpired. If the Madonians were to rule, they must ensure that all their foes, potential or non potential, was wiped out. The officers thought that peace was finally restored. Many were disillusioned, were disgruntled and shocked by this. People like Jenna, who was a peace-loving girl, I wanted not to see her fellow allies suffer. But the days of Madonian's fighting was over, was done. She noticed a change in Satokoi and Tashan and Carla, like they were different people, like they were not the same, almost as if they were possessed. Many in Madonia felt the same way. People like Claire, the wife of Imonsi, had no idea what was going on. Uh, also, people in the healers, like Hall, a bow veteran, a person that loved to fight, was displeased by this. He had decided to retire, like many others, from fighting. Now that the need to fight was over, he suspected that foul play was going on. Still, there was others that liked it, like, like Pernell, the leader of the Bashara, and of course, Imol Z. Pernell, who always wanted to fight, I wanted to fight the insurance, the Pycron, and the Builder. The last great fight, he said. He did not know what happened to his leaders, but they were going to the right direction. As for the Armada, Senate and one Dawn could not question the Empire and had no choice but to do what they say. 
Sada, the leader of the knights, now in Nephil, Nachi, and Vaslo, was stunned. They didn't know, know what to think of it. Delray and Anthony and Leon Starkey tried desperately to advise them against it. But the second Monsi, who was now no longer an independent person, but now a puppet of the original Monsi, rebuked them and said, No, if Adonia is to be strong, and if we were to prevent what happened to our Lord siblings, remember, when we first rose, we wiped out insurance from the face of the universe. The very fact that insurance still survives, along with the threat of the United Franklin Galaxies and the Builderon running about, is an insult to their character. Their father led the way and could not continue on his conquest because he died. Now, our Lord Lady Mother and her two children have shown us the way. We must do what they say. Anyone questioning their orders will be seen as treasonous and sympathizing with enemies. It being mean to death. The Ray was stunned. Anthony and Starkey were disgusted, but they kept their emotions in check, knowing very well that Kolo, Teshon, and Sotokoi were now in line with the second immorality, as the original immorality was laughing hysterically and saying his lords had done it. Ospo, F, C2, and Hillel, and the new officer, Big Group were about to prepare themselves for another war. They didn't want to do it, but they had no choice. If insurance, children and bankrupt did not surrender, which they felt they would, there'd be war. The alliance was now peaceful and seemed to be permanent, but the Madonians to invoke this decree to only strain relations and force a war. It's almost as if they want to wipe out the universe clean of all opponents. Tina was not broken. She went to Claire and asked her, What is your husband so happy about? It's almost as if our lady and the Lord's siblings are turning into the first spin. Claire did not want to speak openly about it. So she told Gina, I will talk to you later. I was consulting my husband. I fear that he might be up to no good and he might somehow be responsible for this. I don't want to put my life, put your life, and especially my life, especially your life, in danger. Please keep this to yourself. I'll meet you later. As all these happenings were going on, at the same time, Chief Crest and Crest, his cousin, after Batman had arrived, they were talking, discussing about the Almada's sudden change of their crop. And Crest told his cousin, the chief of police, could this sudden action be as a result of the occur, of their sudden attack, and they vowed to attack and to attack us, and they're fearing that the well more established insuring might try to do the same thing, or the bank run, or the builder run. And Chief Crest said, hmm, given the certain developments, what the Lord Majesty might have done. I've done. Hmm. It seems possible, but that's why they are taking this course of action. But their demeanor was so mean and evil. It's not like them at all, right cousin? You fought alongside them, you should know. Press said, I must consult with Lord Inver. Adonia is broken down into clans and tribes. Each clan leader is the leader of each clan. And we are all united for a common goal. I don't think this is what Lord Mordonia will want it. And so, he went to Lord Inver, who was trying to contact Lord Ak about the situation. They were stunned. They were stunned and a little horrified about the whole situation. Ak and Adol, who was discussing about his relative, Adol, Red Adol X, was no saint for the evil villain. And that his Red Adult had no real post within the Madonna Empire. Nor this clinique who self described themselves as gods and spread the rumor around, which was looked, overlooked by the Empire in order to keep the peace. Adol knew that his relative was up to no good, and clinique was no better. 
And so I don't realize I cheat crap, realize. But GW Jew, I'm W S Jew. And the GDU and the others are being manipulated by these evil doers. Because they be behind all of this. And clearly Maul Z have something to do with it. He had to investigate. But he was chief of police. As the healers and the bathroom took their secret alliance to find out, to find out what in the world was happening to their once beloved Monolian Empire. The Pashur and the Ayatan, the exception of Claire and Jean Upto, that was rejecting her husband's sudden desire for war against the others. But now suspicious of Clinique and Red Odo uh, and their acts and their sudden praise that was what's happening with Carla, Tashan, Asatokoi, Madonia. Uh, 